Hi, Chris here. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the importance of resting. Why we need to rest, what happens when we rest, that sort of thing. Well, before we do that, if you want to stay up to date with mental health tips and advice, hit the subscribe button to my channel. That would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. So, resting. Why do we need to do it? Well, I know it's pretty obvious. It helps us recharge our energy batteries. It helps us heal. It helps us both mentally and physically. Um, doesn't have to be sleep either. Just resting your mind, if you like, has so many benefits to your, definitely your mental health, but your physical health as well. Again, something we don't tend to do in this modern age that we live in is listen to our brains when it's telling us to rest. When we're at work, we're working for 8 to 12 hours a day maybe. When we run our business, we might be working 24 hours. We're not supposed to be doing that. Our brain does not get why we do it doesn't understand that or it does understand but it, it doesn't at the same time that we're putting ourselves through this for money it, that's a man-made concept that it just you know can't figure out and to be honest sometimes I think I can't figure it out either um, I think the chase for money um, is why I do what I do now. I mean, um, to help people with their businesses, their profession, their career. Because that's basically what we're doing, isn't it? We do a thing that we love to do. If that's what you're doing, brilliant. But we also want to um, make a good living from it, don't we? And to do that, we need money. But what about when we're working all these hours, when we're under all this stress, but that result, that reward isn't coming in? This is when we're on the path to burnout. I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but a rest could just be a tea break, a coffee break. A sit down somewhere out of the way of the, the stress of the business, of your whatever it is that you're doing, you just sit, stand, walk, whatever it is, but you're away from those stresses. And that helps you then get out of your emotional brain and into your rational, intellectual brain. Any problems then you can problem solve. You can't problem solve with your emotional brain, that's just knee-jerk knee reactions. And if our knee-jerk reactions are shit responses, shit patterns, that's what we're going to do every time this problem crops up, time and time again. So, when we rest, our brain can, I say slow down, but it's still doing loads of amazing things, it's doing everything. Most of it we don't even know it's doing. Like right now, while you're sitting watching this, maybe you're digesting food, while your brain's making all the muscles and all the process happen. And you're not consciously aware of that. It doesn't affect your day until something goes wrong with it. Then it becomes, you know, we have a warning sign, which pain, something like that. Pain is also used by the brain. Well, pain is used by the brain to stop us from doing something. That's why when people get who are under high uh, levels of stress who are really burnt out can get uh, fibromyalgia. And that's the brain using pain to keep you still. So when, by resting, we can give our brain time to process. We can give our muscles, our body, time to recover.
just by stopping. Taking a moment, taking a few moments, just by. Okay, let's go at this challenge another way. That's why we need to rest for a short time. When we sleep, we sleep and our brain processes all the crap of the day, the things we've learnt and all that stuff. However, if too much crap has gone in our stress bucket and it's too full, well, we can't sleep enough to empty it. And it takes a lot of energy to sleep. Our brain does a lot of work while we're asleep. While we're dreaming, it is working hard. Definitely as hard as when we are awake. It may be harder. But it is helping you. Now, when we don't get that quality sleep, when we don't get that quality rest, the brain's got too much work to do and not enough energy to do it with. So what happens is we wake up in the night, we can't sleep, so on and so forth. We want to sleep during the day because the brain wants to sleep because it knows it can process what it needs to process. However, you haven't got those energy levels for it to do it. And now you're in that negative cycle of crap. Make sure you get the rest that you require. Six to eight hours of sleep a night. Alter when you go to bed, when you wake up to suit you. Six to eight hours a night of sleep. And if you're a business owner or and you're not taking breaks in the day, have them. You need to have them. You need to have breaks. You need to walk away for a minute. Have a lunch break. It doesn't matter how busy it is. If you've got staff, they can deal with it. If you're not confident that your staff can deal with it, well, that's a problem that you've got to sort out, isn't it? But have that time to rest. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And um, if you subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I'm Chris Harrison, Mindset Self-Care Focus Therapy. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.